Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you your weekly love read. This is your weekly love read for July 19th through the 25th. This love read is for Scorpio. So Scorpio, we are going to get some information about you. We're going to get some information about your person and then the connection. So your person could be someone that you know, someone you're currently with, um, someone you haven't met yet. Good gravy. Um, and then we're going to get a twin flame journey message by mystic moon oracles and a sacred creator's message. The sacred uh, creator's message is not necessarily love related. Holy smokes. These cards are flying out for you, Scorpio. <laughs> all right Scorpio so the overall energy of the deck is the page of swords so the page of swords is kind of like social media stalking so either you or your person has been kind of checking you out um technically it's actually a card of curiosity and learning so um maybe you're just very curious about your person or they're very curious about you they're asking friends about you they're they're watching your social media or you're doing that for them all right, so you, Scorpio, looks like you're kind of feeling down in the dumps, kind of sad, defeated, maybe out, um, out in the cold, and you definitely endured some heartbreak or sadness. Those are two sad cards. I don't like them, but we all kind of go through sadness and heartbreak and kind of feeling like we're left out in the cold, but Scorpio, you have an abundance of love to give. Um, you have the ability to love. Um, this card represents a union, a marriage, soulmates. So you have this over, um, overly abundant love to offer. But you've been through some things. Your person, um, they are the queen of swords. So swords are air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, potentially. The uh, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords is often very, um, can be kind of detached or very direct, good communicator. She knows what she wants. She's not afraid to say it. She definitely thinks with her head more than her heart. And she is just basically direct. She's very intuitive. She's using her intuition. Um, but she has, feels like she's kind of stuck at a, a crossroads about something. Or maybe this was previously. I feel like it's probably more like this. <laughs> um, yeah, this makes more sense to me. So she's kind of been blindfolded or he's kind of been blindfolded. Um not sure sure what to do, kind of stuck at a stalemate, needing to make a choice, went intuitively, kind of figured out using their intuition and knows what they want. What do they want? I don't know. Ooh, well, we could clarify. I think we'll clarify. What does this person want? Um, Because you clearly have lots of love to offer. What does this person want? From you, I guess. What does this person want from Scorpio? <laughs> oh, uh, the Ace of Wands is on the bottom of this deck, which is a new start in passion. Um, sometimes one can refer to this card as the magic stick. <laughs> so maybe that's what your person wants from you, Scorpio. Um, however, I think your person wants you to move on to calmer waters from feeling left out in the cold. So this is the five of pentacles again, the same one that you got over here. So they want you to move away from feeling left out in the cold and they are wanting to offer an, a passionate, um, some passion into your life, which makes sense with the ace of wands being on the bottom here. 
excitement, flirty, passionate, fun. However, this is a very slow moving situation. Um, we have the page and the knight of pentacles. So pentacles are very grounded, stable, looking for a committed relationship, um, but very slow moving. So I don't know if that's you or them or both of you guys or you're both moving. Maybe one's kind of the knight and one's kind of the page. The page can bring some good messages. Um, and then we have the three of wands, which could be looking forward, um, looking into the future, but it also represents travel. So maybe this is going to be kind of a really slow paced connection. Maybe you guys will travel together or something. Or you're looking ahead of uh, what's coming. So let's see. What is uh, the future? What Page of Wands. Which is more passion, romance. And the Queen of Cups. Love, 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 love. Lots of love, lots of love. So I think it's a slow moving relationship. It's going to move really slow. <laughs> um, somebody might be looking into the future like, what the heck? When is this going to happen? But um, there's going to be a lot of passion. The Page of Wands with the Queen of Cups. A lot of love. Stable, nurturing. And on the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands, which um, is someone being very guarded. So I think you or them or both of you guys are being very guarded. You've been wounded in the past, so you're kind of keeping these walls up. But I think it's just going to take some time, and you are going to get this um, passion and this love. All right. All right, Scorpio, let's get a twin flame journey message from your twin flame or for the person from this reading. I feel safer in silence. That one kind of got stuck in my hand. I don't know if it was... There we go. Those wanted to come out. You inspire me and I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. <laughs> so maybe you or them feel safer in silence. You don't really want to say anything because you've gotten hurt in the past. But they inspire you or you inspire them. I think you inspire them. And um, they can no longer ignore the signs they're receiving. So perhaps... Um, the slow movement is going to be difficult for them because they got that passion. They want that ace of wands with you. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, we're going to get a um, sacred creations oracle card. This is just general guidance. Overrate your intuition. So, yeah, use it, use it, use it. And then I like this one. This one came out earlier too for somebody else. Um, ambush fear with your ferocious dreams. So instead of feeling like you're this five of pentacles, instead of being stuck and sad, instead of moving super duper slow, don't be fearful. Ambush fear with your ferocious dream. Go for your dream, Scorpio. All right, guys. Um, that concludes our reading for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the read and uh, check back with me next week. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.